Today, I will show you the techniques I use to turn a rough sketch like this one into insane digital art like this. But I'm a bit embarrassed because <laughs> my process is weird. It's just four steps, but I designed them just for me to solve my own problems. Like, I used to get stuck for ages deciding what to draw, so I don't start with an idea anymore. I start with a camera. The cats. <laughs> Eye drops. I don't use this as often anymore since I have this new method because I don't spend ages searching for inspiration for what to draw anymore. Instead, I just skip the idea phase altogether and I pick any random action, like this one. And I try to see how it looks from another angle, like a side view. Or maybe more foreshortened with a bird's eye view. And as soon as I found an angle I like, that's it. First step done. It's refreshingly simple. And a cool angle, even of a random action, is enough to dive straight into step two, the rough sketch phase. In this phase, we're gonna build the setting of our scene. And since we already have the action and the angle, it's gonna be much easier to come up with interesting ideas. But to think, I need silence. All right, so in my head, all of these cubes here were chairs, but I didn't draw them because I prefer to sketch fast and take reference pictures later like I'm doing now. For chairs, it's easy, of course, but for this splashy thingy here, I need a mug, some milk, and the ability to slow down time. My digital process is all in Procreate. I try to go fast with the inks and leave them sketchy because I really like to see the construction lines below and it's more expressive this way. And it also allows me to get faster into the coloring phase of the process. This first coloring phase is called flatting will serve as a base before adding any shading, highlights, bounce lights or color variations. But it's really key because it sets the color palette for the whole piece. But this stuff takes time and I really hate to sit down all day. So if you're a fan, you know what's next. In the next steps, I add color variations, shading, highlights and bounce lights to make it really look awesome. I've posted the full unedited time-lapse of this artwork as a perk for channel members only. You'll find the join button on my channel page. If you like what I do, that's the best way to support me. But now, let's get back to it.